buying property in Turkey is one of the largest financial decisions you can make and having the right people in your corner can help you save or lose a lot. My name is Berkan Özür and I'm the director and founder of Kingsman Estates Turkey. We are a boutique licensed professional and government recognized estate agency here in Turkey helping international investors enter the Turkish property market or diversify their existing portfolio. And this video is on the bastion, the crown jewel of the Turkish property market, which is the citizenship through real estate investment in Turkey. Dealing this topic requires an understanding on the intricate nature of it. Instead of giving you a long and boring university lecture, I have decided to divide this topic into digestible chunks going through different aspects of it. We'll also have our lawyer here as well as our previous customers who bought property through our company and acquired success in the past. When you are dealing in a property market outside your own country, it is important to recognize that it will not be conducted in your own language and your laws. Therefore, we strongly recommend you to work with a professional estate agency like Kingsman Estates in order to achieve your objectives and be a successful investor. When you add the legal intricacies and the intellectual gamesmanship that is required in the Turkish property market, paying 3% to an estate agency is certainly worth it as it will get you the experience, expertise and the legal support that you require in order to go through a successful application for the Turkish citizenship program. I have designed this video so it gives an overview, the big picture for our clients. So please don't assume watching this video will get you enough information to do the application process on your own. Unfortunately, Turkey is a rather bureaucratic country with a lot of red tape. Over the recent years, we worked with plenty of our clients who went through this process program and got success out of it. We came to a conclusion that each application can require its own intellectual gamesmanship due to the different circumstances of the investors. Making a small mistake during the application process tends to get you rejected, which leads to a waste of time and effort. So without further ado, let's get on with the requirements of the Turkish citizenship program through real estate investment. First things first, applicants are required to purchase a property that is worth at least 200 $250,000. Now, you may choose to buy multiple properties that add up to $250,000 or one property that is worth $250,000. In order to prove the legitimacy of the declared value of the property, the government dedicates a randomly selected third-party Turkish Capital Market Bonds licensed valuation company and this company will survey your property and declare a true value. Now, this is a recent development and it's very exciting as it will massively improve the integrity of the Turkish property market as unfortunately in the past unprofessional estate agents used to boost up the prices of the properties in order to get the Turkish citizenship hence defrauding the government. It is a blessing that the Turkish government has now stepped in to put an end to all this nonsense that massively reduced the branding of our wonderful country. So all you losers and con artists out there who think you can boost the value of your property and defraud the government it's game over for you. Please be aware that since this regulation is rather new and the database is not fully developed, you may expect 20 to 30 percent price variation between the valuation price and the actual price of the property. Although I've slightly deviated from our main topic, nevertheless, this news is incredibly important for the future integrity of the Turkish property markets. What's important here is the declared value of the property by the valuation company should be at least $250,000 at the day of signing of the sales contract and it must be not right by the way or at the title deed transfer day in the land registry office. Here's an important tip. Make sure the property you buy is slightly above $250,000 so you can avoid having problems due to currency fluctuations. In order to complete the program successfully you must keep your property 
for three years. This requirement has to be annotated on the notarized sales agreement or on your title deed at the land registry office. Once you have completed that three-year period, you are more than welcome to sell your property. The benefit of the program is as you are progressing through the years, you're going to collect rent or have a place to live. There's also another benefit, which is the increase in your net worth as your property will greatly appreciate. Another advantage of the Turkish Citizenship by Investment program is you're not required to live in Turkey while you're able to keep multiple citizenship. When you compare other investment by citizenship programs around the world, most of them require you to live in that country and they generally take years to become a citizen. Once you have bought your property, you can apply for the citizenship and then you will become a Turkish citizen in three months, which makes this program much more competitive when you compare other countries who offer similar routes into their country. So here's your next important tip. Whoever is going to have their name registered on the title deed and going to apply for the Turkish citizenship should send the money from their own bank account with their name on it to the seller's bank account as you will be required to prove the bank transfer transaction with a receipt. Although the bank transfer must be on the name of the person who's going to register in the title deed, your spouse and your children below the age of 18 are also eligible to become Turkish citizens. What I just said regarding the bank transfer is the simple and straightforward method. However, previously we also had clients who had to send their money from their company's bank account or from the joint account between them and their spouse. This is also possible, however it complicates and delays the process as we will have to produce additional documents during the application proving the ownership of the company or that you're actually married to your spouse that you are sharing the bank account with. So, this brings us to the end of another video, which will gradually turn into a series on this topic, where you'll be able to learn more on the Turkish Citizenship by Investment program with digestible chunks. I sincerely hope that you'll benefit from the information I have just provided. And if you have any questions, please post a comment down below. Alternatively, you can go on our website at www.kingsmanestates.com, where you'll be able to contact us and one of our agents at our investment center will be more than happy to answer all your questions. So please look out for videos where I will be talking about steps towards getting your Turkish passport as well as the documents required, a talk with one of our expert lawyers as well as one of our previous clients who became Turkish citizenship by buying a property through Kingsman Estates. As well as please like, share, subscribe and look out for more videos on Turkish real estate or Turkish lifestyle in general. Thank you.